Hello everyone, welcome again to Milo eLearning. So in this lesson, we are going to be doing math for grade six learners, and we're going to focus on the nth number. Now I know that I did do a video on it previously, but some kids complained that it was lagging. So I'm going to redo it and hopefully it will be okay this time. So let's look at this table. Now the top row, is basically has the input is called the input row and it has 1 2 3 4 10 and 12 then the bottom row is the output row and you have 3 5 7 9 now here we are looking for the 10th number and the 25th number and we use this formula here to try to solve for the rule to get the 10th and the 25th number. Now, before we do that, I'm going to explain to you how we're going to solve for our rule. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to find the difference between the first two numbers in the output row. So the difference between 3 and 5 is plus 2. Okay, so now we found that. Then we're going to identify certain numbers and we're going to call them um, certain alphabets. So we're going to call A the starting number. So the starting number is the out is the number in the first term in the output row. Okay, so in this case it is 3. Then we're going to look at the difference. So the difference is basically the difference between the first two terms. And then n is the number that we are looking for in the row. Okay, now look. let's look at this formula. You know that d is the difference. n is the number that we're looking for. In this case, it's 10. And then you're going to ask yourself, what is plus or minus c? So to solve for plus or minus c, you're basically going to think about what you are going to do to the difference to get the first number, the starting number. So let's try to solve for the rule in this table. So we have A. A is the first term, the output number of the first term, which is 3. The difference is 2. And now to get C, you're going to ask yourself, what must I do to the 2 to make it 3? So in this case, you are going to add 1. So C is plus 1. So now we know our rule is n times 2, which is n times the difference plus 1. So it's n times 2 plus 1. So to solve for the 10th number, we say n to the 10th number is equal to n times 2 plus 1, which is 10 times 2 plus 1. And that is 21. 10 times 2 is 20 plus 1 is 21. Now let's try to solve for the 25th number. So we have n times 2 plus 1, which is 25 times 2 plus 1 is 51. So we took out the 21 and we put it in the output row. And we're going to take 51 and also put it in the output row under the 25th term. Now let's apply the same thing to geometric patterns. Now, we have the first row, the second row, and the third row. In the first row, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 matchsticks. And in the second row, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 matchsticks. And in the third row, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 matchsticks. So we need to find the difference between the first row and the second row. So we're going to ask, how many more matchsticks did we add in the second row? So that's going to be our difference. So we added five matchsticks. So you could see here, in the second row, it's the same shape as the first row. And then we added one, two, three, four, five matchsticks. 
So now let's apply that to this third row. We added five matchsticks again. Now let's put this in a table. So we have the input row that is the first, the second, the third, and the fourth row. Now we're also looking for the 10th and the 25th numbers here. Now the output rows, there's six matchsticks in the first row, 11 in the second, and 16 in the third. Now we want to, instead of actually drawing the diagrams and actually counting it, we can actually use a formula to solve for the 4th, 10th, and 25th numbers. So we're going to start by looking at our starting number. So we say A is equal to 6. Our difference is 5. Now you're going to ask, what must I do to the 5 to make it 6? I'm going to add 1. So our C is plus 1. So now we have our rule. And our rule is basically N times 5 plus 1. Now we're going to apply it to the fourth number. So we're going to say N times 4, N to the fourth number is N times 5 plus 1, which is 4 times 5 plus 1, which is 21. Now we're looking for the tenth number. So we're going to go N times 5 plus 1, which is 10 times 5 plus 1, and that is 51. Now we're looking for the 25th term. So our rule is n times 5 plus 1, which is 25 times 5 plus 1, which is 125 plus 1, which is 126. So we're going to take all our answers and we're going to put them in the respective places. So the fourth term is 21, the tenth term is 51, and the 25th term is is 126. So that's basically how we filled in our table using the rule to solve for our answers. Now let's just say that they gave us the output number. In this case it is 151 but we're looking for the term. So we don't know the input row what term it is. So we know our rule is n times 5 plus 1. So how to solve for that is to use the inverse operation to solve. So we're going to use the inverse rule. So we have our rule, which is n times 5 plus 1. And the inverse rule is basically the output number minus 1. So here you could see it was plus 1. Now it is minus 1. And here you can see we, it is divided by, it is times 5. So here we are dividing by 5. So to apply it to 151, minus 1 is 150 divided by 5. So the nth number that we're looking for is 30. And we take 30 and we put it in the input row. And now we know what number that is. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and also you learned a lot from it. Remember to re-watch it while you are re-watching it. Write it down as I am explaining to pause the video, explain it to yourself and um, you will learn the method. Right, don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye everyone.